hear it all the time. Whatever happened to Tex Murphy? Everything was going so well. A hot date with my future girlfriend, and my speeder got stolen. And then I broke one of my own PI rules. Don't take rides from strangers. Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peach. Well, things could get worse, huh? Uh, what happened? You are dead. Lame. Well, okay. But just don't stick me in some eternal all-night diner with a bunch of egomaniacs who'll talk my ear off. Your fate has been decided. Hold on. I did not pick this. I said not this. Is this another one of your sick jokes? That's right, Murphy. Oh, Things got worse or all right. And now you're here, on the boulevard of broken dreams. Taken in your prime. Just like us. I remember your first big case like it was yesterday. Under a killing moon. Film noir, detective, sci-fi, and funny as hell. That's not a toy, you know. You were the idiot savant of crime solvers. So, you're Tex Murphy. Stumbling into trouble, but always managing to get out. The original rebel without a clue. Yeah, that joke would have been perfect in that game. My favorite was the Pandora Detective. It was so romantic. Actually, it was the Pandora Directive. Uh, but you can call it anything you want. <laughs> Well, you beat us to the box. Who are you, Tex? Such an exciting story. But what really caught me was how romantic you were. Kind of partial to your last game. The police think it's suicide. I believe they're wrong. You were supposed to be a good little detective and die. There are no heroes anymore. Only villains of varying degrees. I was beginning to wonder how we were going to get out of this. Don't stop wondering on my account. A great movie. Inside a great game. Yeah. We all know how that ended. The big finish. The thing is, that was the start of what promised to be my greatest adventure ever. Now you're caught in a trap. You can't walk out. Good one. So what will it take to get you back in the saddle again, Tex? You need a hunk of hunk of burning cash. Cash. My nemesis. Problem is, I'd need about 450 grand. And we are not talking the peso, senor. Well, there might be a way to raise that kind of dough. Two words. Kick starter. I'm sure there are lots of people that would love to bring you back, Tex. Just imagine. Kickstarter could get you back to Chandler Avenue. Chandler Avenue. It's great to be back, where the smell of tainted ladies and rotten garbage fill my nostrils. But it's time for me to take a break from this metaphysical joyride and get back to work. And for that, I'll need cash and references. Why do we need another Tex Murphy game? You're gonna enjoy playing Tex Murphy. I played it for many, many years. It's sci-fi, it's film noir. It incorporates the best of both genres. Greatest memories I have of gaming. And I believe that's a testimony to the wonderful writing for these games. And I fell in love with every character on Chandler Avenue. Give me Tex, give me Chelsea, give me Louie. If you're trying to cast young Tex, I could walk the walk. It's definitely time to bring back Tex Murphy. Back where a friend is a friend. But you know, you guys are my friends. Because I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for you. No, oh, ain't that the truth? But it costs a lot of money to do an adventure game, and there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't even see. And cut. Terrific. Good stuff. Then set three, set for uh, Channel Avenue. Make up in, final check. Thank you, Rook. That was terrific. And let's reframe for the close up on Channel Avenue. And make up out. And here we go. Take your moment, Chris. And action. It's great to be back on Chandler Avenue. And we've got Adrian Carr as our director, and Aaron Connors has written our best Tex Murphy story ever. Greatest Tex Murphy story ever, eh? You're not wrong, mate. 
You know, but at any other gaming studio, it would cost about a gajillion... A gajillion bucks to make this game. How many? But we can produce it much more efficiently. A gajillion bucks? <laughs> Lights? I don't care how I disconnect notice about my kneecaps. Don't get me wrong. For that kind of money, I'd marry Rook. I'd even consummate it. Gajillion dollars. Let's see how close to a gajillion dollars I can get. Okay, this is positively the last time I'm gonna be here, but we can warn you. You know, 450 G's is gonna be plenty. And if anyone can do it, Adrian can. And for those that contribute, We've got some great perks, including access to the complete game design process, regular chats with me and other members of the creative team, and more. So, it's hat in hand time. Why help us out? Well, Tex Murphy combines humor, cinematic storytelling, and puzzles into an incredible 3D environment. We offer a unique adventure experience, and no one integrates these elements as well because we're the pioneers, and with new technology, we'll do it better for less money. The Kickstarter funding ensures that the game will have an epic feel with an excellent cast and multiple paths that are meaningful. It's now or never. The team's in place. James Earl Jones once said, Your fate has been decided. But together, we can change destiny. So go onto our site and donate as if Tex Murphy's life depends on it. It does. You know, Kickstarter's actually a pretty darn good idea. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I've got to get out of here. And you can make it happen. Donate to Kickstarter so we can get off the boulevard of broken dreams and back in the game. Listen, my friends. Get Tex out of my chair. Go over to Kickstarter and donate. Saddle a day.